Well, hello and welcome people to the internet back to some more Spirit Hunters Infinite Horde. In the last one, we discovered where to find the challenges and unlock more of the progression map because they're kind of hidden. In case you missed the end of that one, uh, for example, if we want to unlock this map, Viper Village, we have to go through these two nodes. And I kept seeing win one challenge and was not sure exactly how to find this because when you go to start run, it's not here anywhere. You can hit start and it's just map selection. Didn't get it. So you actually have to go into the ledger which I thought was just like a compendium that you see in all kinds of roguelites. And then you have to go over here, which actually shows the challenges. It's a weird place to hide it. I don't understand why it's hidden in here. But anyway, we're going to do the first Magnus challenge, the desert runes. So the way that I understand this, uh, and there is a tutorial right here, so we'll just kind of go over that real quick. You select the character, select the challenge, and then there's some requirements. So I don't know, I'm really hoping, and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm literally going to take a picture of the requirements just in case, because it says here, the number is what level you have to reach with certain skills, and then you can't have the ones with X's. So I, just in case it does offer these to me, I'm going to take a picture. I'm hoping that it just removes them from the pool. That would be way easier for my sanity. Um, but then I can also remember what levels and what stats I need to get uh, or what levels I need to get for certain skills. So with that being the case, let's go ahead and start. I'm actually going to kick up the speed a little bit here. Uh, I think we should be okay on this first challenge to get this done with a little bit of kicked up speed. Wow, okay, that's quite, a, that is actually going to make it a little bit tougher to aim this orbital fire, but uh, we'll see, we'll make it work. And I'm just checking here. Are any of these, oh, okay. Yeah, see, this is not going to be, oh, thank God it puts that at the bottom of the screen because it does let you pick abilities that you wouldn't be able to normally use. Um, so that being the case, I'm just going to take gross size. I want abilities that I can target specifically for the boss. So um, something I was going to say cleave can't use cleave. That's a bummer. Uh, literally, it just offered me three options that I can't take. So I have to take tornado. <laughs> That was not helpful in the slightest. Tornado fine. Tornado is tornado. Uh, tornado fine. Uh, yes, tornado is fine. We will deal with that one. Uh, spears. We can take spears. Therefore, we will take. Oh, but the thing is, I don't really want to spend time upgrading it. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, I'm gonna take the tangle vines for now. My reasoning here is that spears is really good but spears i'm going to be i'm going to want to level up and so i kind of want to look for an ability that um maybe i don't want to level up as much you know what i am actually going to take arrow it's something that I can aim at the boss. Actually, is it? Oh, right, we're right. This one goes the last direction I moved. We're going to see how this works out. We are going to take increased vines. Basically, anytime fireball or vines comes up, I'm going to be taking upgrades for those. Although, if I can increase the size of this arrow, I definitely will. So that way it's just easier to hit things. All right, we are just zipping and zooming on them. I can't even imagine playing at 3x speed. That would be nuts. Okay, nice. Pick all this up. Boom. Easy. Uh, let's go at number of vines. We want to get those as many as possible. Just max out that number. I mean, I know it's a challenge run, but they couldn't have given us, like, a good ability. That being said, what is your ultimate again? Let's pop it and see. Oh yeah, we just run through stuff. Yep, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. OK, 
Okay. Uh, grow. We want these as big as possible so they hit as many things as possible because otherwise these vines are pretty bad. But it wouldn't be a challenge run if we didn't have some bad abilities, right? Let's actually increase rotation speed. Okay, here's our starter chests. Oh, right. I only have a limited number of uses. Totally forgot about that. Let's keep increasing the damage on our fireball. Increase growth size of the vines. Increase growth size of the vines. Increase damage. Uh, more tornadoes. Get a friend. Who's coming with us? Oh, we got the prick. Move speed. Okay, that might be a little dangerous. Uh, let's go for scoop. Okay, we're just grabbing literally all the coins. Let's see if we can't find a shop. We have so much money. And I think especially this feels fast because speed. Uh, I just finished up the recording the the hard version that I played with Conrad. And so I'm used to just like staying in one place and uh, going real slow. So this just feels like extra fast. Okay, I gotta increase. Yeah, I was just gonna say I want more damage on this fireball. I also want to increase the uh, the radius here. It's really close to me, which I'm getting a little nervous by. Base damage, fantastic. Although, what is that affecting? Because like fire, the fireball is still hitting for, still hitting for ten. So what is that affecting? Keep getting more damage on the arrow. Um, yep, there's the radius. We'll take that. So we have a little bit more space between us and the enemies. Growth size. All right, let's go ahead and take out the elite. That was mighty fast. I'm also used to health pools being the same as hard, where they they scale like crazy into the end game, and so things just die super fast when you're not playing like that. Let's increase the damage per tick. Nice. We got a shop. Perfect. Can we just buy you out? Um. Okay, we'll take the souls, and then I'm just going to take the meta stuff. We can buy... We can buy you. Okay, we can, we can mine faster. Sweet. Uh, I'll go or radius. Mostly so that way when we when we do get to the boss, we can be farther away from him and still be hitting him. Another friend. Who's coming with us this time? I guess we're taking this, but again, I I am a little bit confused as to how this is working. Because if you take a look at all our fire hits, we're, we're still dealing 11. So what exactly is that altering? Maybe... Is it just cha is it just doing it on the alt? I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that. Or le let me know down in the comments. That would be more helpful. If you guys know exactly what it's doing, let me know what he's doing. 
I'm still taking them because I'm assuming it's helping me at some point. It's going to be real unfortunate if it's just literally not helping me at all with how I'm playing right now. But it's like literally all I'm doing is damage. So if it's not helping me, then probably needs a fix into how he works. Because I don't know how else I could play and have him help me out in a way that is not how I'm currently playing. Uh, yeah, let's go damage for tick. Rotation speed. Okay, let's just ultimate. We got plenty of time. We still have plenty of ults left. I definitely still wish, I think I remember mentioning it in the first video we did, that there was a countdown. I mean, I can look up here, but I kind of wish there was a bigger countdown on screen so I know exactly when the ultimate is going to end. Honestly, I don't even care about the money all that much. Let's take magnet range. Growth size, growth size. Just want to make sure that when we grow, we get real big. Because we're growers, not showers. Vine wise, that is. Okay, get back a little bit of our health here. Okay, that is an interesting looking elite. Let's go for let's go for cooldown on these. Well, that was easy enough. Uh, let's go for more size. Man, these, these vines uh, are kind of garbage. Kind of garbage. Okay, anything good here? Not particularly, so we'll just get all the meta stuff. Go for more speed, so that way we can hit things faster. Faster equals more damage. Okay, we gotta kinda speed through and get a bunch more levels here. Because we're... Okay, I just need... Boom. Challenge done. Okay, now we just need to actually beat the boss. I thought I was a little bit farther behind in the challenge.
Okay, we'll go cool down on the arrow. Got another 15 seconds to the boss, roughly. Which is weird. I had to do that math in my head. Since we're on 2x now, it's no longer 30 seconds. Okay. Let's go. Let's take him out. That's right. Sit. You sit on those vines. That's right. You sit on those vines. I don't think I even have to do anything. He's just going to literally keep spawning on the vines. Well, that was easy enough. <laughs> I... I hard expected him to do something else. Alright. Not too bad. Not too bad. First challenge done. And now... Should be able to unlock a bunch of stuff here. So that being the case, that unlocked us what? Starting gold, which doesn't help me anywhere. I don't really care about the new heroes yet, although I need to get that so I can get that so I can get that. So that does give me a new map. Uh, what do we have here? Coins are worth more. Interesting. Doubles all crystals. But that has to win win with uh, with Conrad. So I can't do that yet. Um, do we have any other maps? I can go up here. Can I unlock this? I cannot unlock that yet. Uh, we can do this. This gives us Hardy. Uh, oh, that unlets me unlock a new map. Perfect. We don't have that yet. Okay, so we need to do a challenge with Vivian next. So that might be our next video. What do I have here? Mining speed increases? Okay, we'll take that. That's a challenge with Vivian, challenge with Conrad. Let's unlock the hard mode here. Can't do that. What else do we have? Let's start. Yeah, so let's do start with gold. That will help out our hard mode run when we come back to it with Conrad. Um, so that way we have the gold to actually re-roll. That was one of the, the struggles we were having, is just that the abilities we were getting were just not good. Okay, is there anything else um, that I really care about getting? Because if there's nothing else that I really care about getting, then I'm going to kind of just focus on the stuff that I want. Probably should have spent the time doing this before the challenge. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to, I'm going to spend some, wait, what is this? Oh, that must be a currency for something else. It's got to be. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I don't know how to break into the stuff down here. Oh yeah. See, it costs, it costs that currency. So I guess maybe just once I get to the point where I can spend this, it's just kind of a free unlock. You just do it. So that'll be interesting. I don't know how to unlock that yet. This was from hard. So this is probably from the third difficulty. That would make sense. All right. Well, that gives us two new maps to play. We have challenges to go through. We got a whole bunch of stuff that we can now progress. Now that I understand how the progression system actually works doing challenges. Uh, but guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Spirit Hunters Infinite Horde. Let me know what kind of format you prefer for this video. Do you like it? Like, for example, this run took only about 15 minutes. Would you prefer multiple videos that are shorter to watch? Or would you prefer that I do like a second challenge in these kinds of videos and instead span it out to like a 40 minute, 45 minute video? Uh, let me know just so I know what to do in the future, what you guys prefer. Uh, other than that, guys, if you did enjoy, would you kindly smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more roguelite action? I have been Gaines. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time.